И, наконец, то, что касается меня как личности. Я не готов говорить о том, что я такой замечательный человек. Я не самый замечательный человек. So your last question, the last question was about me personally. I'm not going to claim that I'm the best or most wonderful person in the world, no. Uh, я действительно не сильно люблю Путина. Right, I do not look like Putin, that's true. Но я uh, несколько раз в моей жизни выходил для того, чтобы защищать и свое достояние, и демократию. But there have been several moments in life when I went to defend both my own wealth and democracy. Я выходил с голыми руками против оружия. Barehanded against weapons. Я и потом от меня это потребовалось еще один раз в 2003 году. And then another moment uh, came in 2003, again. I was doing fine, believe me. And I could have coasted on in the same way, very comfortably. But I had that firm belief that my country could be made better. I came back once and I won. Я за это заплатил десятью годами своей жизни. So I went and spoke out, and I lost, and I paid with ten years of my life. А сейчас я на свободе, и я продолжаю драться. And now, you know, I'm here, I'm free, and I continue fighting. Martin, if I can bring you in. Yeah. I think. Could I just add something? I, I think the charge of being an opportunist, uh, an opportunist would be absolutely justified if he had only started to enunciate his opposition to Putin after he'd fallen out with Putin. But he was already doing it back in 2000, 2003. He was standing up for the values of liberal democracy and freedom, and that was what got him in trouble with Putin. His big confrontation with Putin was in February 2003. He was arrested in October, and between February and October, he was endlessly being warned by people in the Kremlin that you need to get out now. So he had those months where he said to the other people in UCOS, you don't need to be part of this. You go if you want to go. But he didn't. He took a conscious decision to stay in Russia, knowing that he would be on the receiving end of some rough justice from Putin. He may not have known that he was going to spend 10 years in a prison, but he knew he was going to go to jail. So he had that opportunity to get out. He could have taken enough money with him to have a very nice lifestyle in the West, but he didn't. He stayed, and the reason he stayed was because he genuinely believed in the values that he was fighting for. So I think there is a certain amount of idealism in doing that, and he certainly paid for it, so the charge of opportunism, I don't think is a fair one. I mean, I can see why you asked the question, but I really don't think it's fair to say that. So if I had to say idealist or opportunist, I'd say idealist. 